2018 is a pre-election year. It is the major year uh, before the, ele the general elections in 2019. And a, a lot of spending normally takes place. And if the government succeeds in implementing the budget to a very large extent and in a satisfactory way, you know, it's very likely that the inflation target you know, may not you know, be met. Now, the fiscal deficit assumption. Uh, it's assumed that uh, the country would uh, achieve a fiscal deficit of 1.77% of GDP. That's a little over 2 trillion Naira you know, in absolute you know, terms. And that seems to be uh, an improvement compared to what was projected for 2017. Uh, now, one important point I want to stress here is that the very fact that the country has continued to you know, project large fiscal deficit you know, suggests or reflects the weakness of the nation's primary balance. Primary balance you know, is the difference between aggregate revenue. The fact that we have such a large fiscal deficit suggests that the primary balance of the country is very weak, you know, reflecting weak non-oil revenue mobilization and high you know, non-debt recurrent expenditure. So overall, on with relation to the assumptions, and we can say that sustained peace in the Niger Delta region, sustenance of the oil price recovery, and improved joint venture production would boost government revenue and have a positive impact on fiscal deficit you know, re reduction. Now, the size and structure of the budget. Uh, government intends to spend uh, 8.6 trillion Naira, uh, about 16% higher than the 2017 budget. Uh, the budget size indicates maintenance of the expansionary you know, fiscal stance, you know, which had uh, happened in the previous two budgets. Uh, now, the IMF, you know, in its own uh, suggestions, as contained in, the, uh, in its Article 4 consultation report, I would rather want, you know, tight fiscal policy and tight, you know, monetary policy for this year. Now, my position is this, that at this early phase of the country's exit from recession, there is need to accelerate uh, economic recovery and growth. And in that respect, monetary easing and fiscal stimulus, as represented by the 2018 budget, are required to stimulate aggregate demand, in particular to stimulate public and private investment. Now, the, the budget is expansionary. Capital budget represents you know, about 30% of the budget. Uh, one thing is that that segment, the public investment aspect, needs to be implemented for the fiscal stimulus to materialize. Now, what it then means is that the government other things being equal, must endeavor to commence capital budget implementation very early. And that itself requires the National Assembly to do the needful and strengthen the budget calendar and streamline the budget calendar to allow capital budget implementation to start in January, as is the case with international best practice. It's only in Nigeria, perhaps a few other weak countries, that we have the kind of aberration that we have, you know, budget implementation begins six months or five months to the end of the year. And at the end of the year, we are quarreling that capital budget was not implemented, even when funds are available 
you cannot you know, have a miracle, perform a miracle under such circumstances. 